Hi, I'm Nicholas from Ratings.com. We've bought and tested more than 340 TVs, including more than 40 in 2021. We evaluate them all on our standardized test bench to see how they compare and which one you should buy. In this video, we'll be looking at the best TVs for playing video games available in early 2022. Now, this is a simplified recommendation. We take into account the performance, price, and availability. Also keep in mind that these are 2021 models, as 2022 models are just starting to come out, and even if they're out, it doesn't mean that they're better than 2021 models. You can find 2021 TVs for cheaper, and there aren't many new gaming features in 2022. Start here to narrow down your options and then dig into the details. If you want to learn more, then check out the linked video reviews or the detailed written reviews and comparison tools on our website. There are a few factors to consider when playing video games. If you have a PS5 or Xbox Series X, or if you're a PC gamer with a high-end graphics card, it's important that your TV supports HDMI 2.1 bandwidth. This allows you to play high frame rate games and take full advantage of the new gaming consoles. You'll also want variable refresh rate support to reduce screen tearing when gaming. Other important factors are the response time and input lag, so you get a smooth and responsive gaming experience. Lastly, if you tend to play games in dark rooms, it's important to have a high contrast so the picture quality looks good. Firstly, the LG C1 is our top OLED pick with an incredible gaming experience. It has everything you're looking for in a gaming TV, like its 120Hz panel, VRR support, and HDMI 2.1 bandwidth. You won't have any problem playing 4K games up to 120 frames per second from the PS5 or Xbox. It even supports 4K at 120Hz games in Dolby Vision from the Xbox, which not many TVs can do. Motion looks incredibly smooth thanks to its near instant response time, and the input lag is extremely low. The main advantage of using an OLED TV is that it displays perfect blacks, and there's no blooming around bright objects either. This is great if you play games in the dark. Sadly, OLEDs have the risk of permanent burn-in, but we don't expect that to be a problem if you play different games. OLEDs all deliver nearly the same fantastic picture quality, and most of them have the same great gaming features. However, the C1 is the best choice because it offers the best value for its gaming performance. The LG G1 costs more, while the Sony A80J has higher input lag. If you want something that gets brighter, or you're worried about the risk of burn-in, an LED TV is a better choice. The Samsung Q98 is the best LED gaming TV we've tested. It has all the same gaming features as the LG C1, like HDMI 2.1 bandwidth and VRR support. It works with either of the gaming consoles too, but it doesn't support Dolby Vision. It uses mini LED backlighting that allows it to get very bright, so if you play HDR games, you know that small specular highlights will really pop and stand out. The mini LED backlighting also helps provide greater control over its local dimming feature, but sadly, the local dimming actually performs worse in game mode than outside of it. This means that the picture quality isn't as good in games as in movies, but you'll still enjoy the gaming experience. If you want something cheaper, then check out the Hisense U8G. It's a bit of a different TV because it doesn't use mini LED backlighting, so while it doesn't get as bright, the picture quality is still good. It has a VA panel with a high contrast, and the local dimming performs well in game mode. It also has HDMI 2.1 bandwidth, VRR support, and low input lag for a responsive feel. However, there are a few downsides when it comes to gaming. There are motion issues with red ghosting and artifacts in some games, especially at 120Hz, but it's not with all games. It also has an issue displaying clear text with 4K at 120Hz signals, even with Chroma 420, but this is only a problem if you need to read fine text in game menus, and it doesn't change the overall picture quality. The Sony X90J doesn't have the same motion issues as the Hisense U8G, and Sony finally sent out its VRR update, so it has all the same great gaming features. However, its local dimming doesn't work with VRR enabled, and it costs a bit more than the Hisense, so it's worth going for the U8G instead. Now, these are all high-end TVs. If you're after a budget model, then check out the Hisense U6G. 
It provides great value for the cost as the picture quality is very good. It has a VA panel with a high contrast ratio and the full array local dimming feature is decent. You don't get the same gaming features as the high-end TVs, but that's normal for a budget TV. It's limited to HDMI 2.0 bandwidth and a 60Hz panel, so you can't play high frame rate games. It doesn't have VRR support either. Still, it has low input lag and smooth motion handling, so it's great for gaming. If you're on a budget and really want VRR support, then check out the Vizio M7 series Quantum 2021. There's a direct trade-off between picture quality and VRR support on this TV because the overall picture quality isn't as good as on the Hisense U6G. Still, the VRR support reduces screen tearing in games and it has a quick response time and low input lag. It also has a VA panel with a fantastic contrast, but the local dimming feature is mediocre. There's blooming in dark scenes and around bright text like in some game menus or loading scenes. The TCL 5 Series S546 2021 and the Hisense U6GR are two budget TVs with VRR support, so they're good alternatives to the Hisense U6G if you don't want the Vizio. However, the TCL has picture quality issues and the U6GR has worse motion handling and is harder to find, so the U6G still provides the best overall performance. We've done videos on all these models and many more, so check them out in the YouTube cards for more information or find the links in the description below. There are a number of TVs that are still great options but didn't make our pick. As we already mentioned at the start of the video, these are all 2021 models. You can find them for cheaper while you're waiting for the 2022 models to come out. However, 2022 TVs won't perform much better for gaming than 2021 models because last year was already a big year for TVs with the inclusion of HDMI 2.1 bandwidth. Of course, there will be more TVs coming out with HDMI 2.1 bandwidth in 2022, including budget models, as HDMI 2.1 will slowly become the norm. If you're looking for the best gaming TV, you definitely won't need to wait for the 2022 models as they won't have new features. What do you think of these picks? If you do end up buying one of them, let us know in the comments down below.